All right, let's go return the the bracelet to uh. What does not? Adorable. I'm telling you, it's impossible. It can't be done. I've tried everything. The prophecy is very clear. We can't go on until this step is completed. Surely your unique skills give you opportunity? My ability has gotten us nowhere. Capricorn got there before me. They're always one step ahead of me. It's like they can read my mind. We can't let them stop us. Maybe we can use your skills on someone else. I've made inquiries. And if he hasn't gotten himself killed, maybe he's just what we need. Murphy. That fire Text looks amazing. Murphy. Look at that fire. Oh. Too late. All right, so in theory, if we turn around here, we should have our <laughs> electronics oh boy, thing. Mail. Ah, my own personal credit card. I'll need this to get in the electronics shop next door. Sweet. Well, look, That's why can't you just open the door and let me through? Jeez. Wait, did I just go to bed without giving what's his face his bracelet? Oh, apparently I did give it to him. All right, whatever. This is the brand new electronic sh This is the brand new guy. Use? This electronic shop outlet has just moved into the neighborhood. I've heard that the manager's name is Ham Underwood. Everyone knows they sell overpriced junk, but it is conveniently located. I disrespected the door and now it's mad at me? Oh my. What is that? What? Now that's interesting. Looks like an alien pineapple. That's not really what I was thinking, but yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Looks like a core sample from an old sofa. <laughs> it does! Uh, did they just, like, make random things and have the guy re look at him and be like, What do you Ooh, think this is? Nine flying saucers. Very cool. Alright, so I'm assuming I need a fax machine. That looks like a fax machine. A fax machine so outdated it doesn't even have a brand name. And it's better than nothing. I can't get that while the force field is up. <laughs> Did we just finish the game? No. Um, well, that's not going to work. No, stop it. Oh, God, no. A fax machine so Yoink. That was just like day one. There's usually I think about seven days in the game. You're not the black guy from the new game who was pretty cool. Who are you? That pudgy computer dweeb really has a battered head. Sure. How's it going? You here to do more shopping? Sure. Patronizingly eager. Not Maybe. Know. I'll have to see what you've got that I can waste my money on. Well, go ahead and look around. If you see something you like in the blue light special box, just insert your card. We'll be happy to bill you later. I tried not to stare, but it threw me off when I saw how cross-eyed Ham Underwood is. I'll have to keep in mind that anything he says is on the left is probably on the right. <laughs> Amazing. I said that was on Sunday, Chaos. 
There's another pineapple here. What the frick? What are these pineapples? Slash dragon dildos. Alright. Now that. Me out the door! <laughs> Fax. As soon as I hook fax. up the new fax machine, a fax prints out. Oh, finally. Maybe this is a real case. The kind you get paid for. <laughs> what? Rook didn't pay you? Damn it. A fax addressed to Tex Murphy from the Countess Rainier? Hmm. Dear Mr. Murphy, you've been recommended to me as someone capable of handling delicate matters with both competence and discretion. I'm prepared to pay you handsomely in exchange for your services. I would prefer to give you details in person. I do not wish to seem impertinent, but time is of the essence. Please meet me at my residence as soon as possible. Okie dokie. Oh, that's right. He said he he would owe me some favors. Which will probably come that's in handy later. Look, I know you said time is of the essence, but I'm gonna see if everyone has anything to say. And by everyone, I mean I'll talk to Chelsea, and if she has nothing new, then I'll talk to everyone else. Or I won't. Or, look. You know what I mean, right? Chelsea's a hot one. Hey, I heard you took care of Rook. Pretty impressive. Um, if I took care of, you mean I found his bracelet, right? <laughs> Most air quoted word ever. Excellent. Let me show you my investigative abilities. Then you'll be really impressed. Oh, I'm sure I would, but I just don't date my customers, especially ones with no money. Wow. Wow. Is she a gold Did digger? Did I ever tell you that I'm a gourmet chef and a fabulous dancer? Sorry, Tex. Let's just pretend we'll always have Paris. Oh, well. Could have been a beautiful friendship. So, is there something you came to ask me about? I just wanted to talk to you. He's only been here a few weeks, and I don't know much about him. Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. <laughs> uh. So, uh, hang, hang on. H hang Stop it! Thank you. Is, is this a thing that I could do? Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna do that. that. That will distract and annoy me. All right, I'm leaving. Rook. What now, Murphy? Hey! You owe me. Be nice to me. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. God, you don't be so rude. Alright, alright. I get the point. I'm going. My trusty 31 lightning... Gain like ten. Yeah, ten.
I actually don't remember how Countess Rainier. all that those add up. Smacks of money. Hopefully she doesn't want to hire me to find her lost poodle. As I land my speeder, I see my dream house only bigger. The butler is a tall, thin man, about 70. He tells me the Countess is expecting me and shows me into a large, lavishly furnished drawing room. And the Countess Renier. Please, have a seat. Thank you. You know, I pictured you being, well, older and heavier. No one is born old, Mr. Murphy. Now, shall we discuss our business while we're still young? Oh, by all means. Pardon my interruption. Your services have been recommended to me by a trusted friend. Services. to remain Sorry. anonymous. Suffice it to say that your unique abilities are what I need right now. Um, which of my unique abilities are you referring to? I'm sure you have many unique abilities. <laughs> the one I would hire you for is your talent of locating people and things. I've been told this talent has made you some friends and many enemies. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, Candace, but wasn't it Roy Rogers who once said, you can't please all the people all the time? Save your homespun humor for a more gullible woman. What I'm asking you to do may make you very unpopular with some people. Uh, exactly how unpopular are we talking here? Let me give you some background information, then you can decide for yourself. Some time ago, a family heirloom was stolen from this bungalow. I do keep most of my valuables on my estate in Europe, but on this visit, I brought the piece to show a friend. Within hours of my arrival, I found it stolen, and I have made extensive inquiries trying to retrieve it, but I found out nothing. Well, I'm sure you have more resources, talking about cash, than I do. You should be able to buy all the information you need. What makes you think that I can help you? Oh, I don't. I remember I don't think you told me about you after I had exhausted every other option. I think it just has brown hair. I don't know. You know, referring to me as your last option could automatically double my fee. I already planned on paying you much more than your usual fee. I'm a wealthy young woman, Mr. Murphy. To give you an idea, the stolen artifact alone is worth more money than you could earn in ten lifetimes. Oh, we'll see about that when I win the clearinghouse sweepstakes. <laughs> <laughs> How quaint. Mm. Let's not waste any more time. I need some work done, and I'll pay you well for it. Well, yeah, I think it is the lighting. Getting paid well is a relative term. Your obsession with money is appalling. I'm broke, oh, okay? Well, I have any number of appalling traits, but I am a good PI. Well, if you prove to be as good as you think you are, I'll pay you a $30,000 finder's fee. Well, let me think about it. Okay, I'll do it. In fact, I'll even mow your lawn at no charge. Try to control yourself, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> I'll expect you to focus all of your energies on this job, and the methods you use to retrieve the artifact are of no interest to me. But as more time elapses, the less likely it is that the item will be found, and for that reason, I must require you to find it and to return it to me within one week. And after that, there will be no finder's fee available to you. Do you pay time and a half after 40 hours? <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. <laughs> I that's have more than I make in a year! As to the artifact itself, it is a beautiful statuette made of crystal and shaped in the form of a bird. It has been in my family for countless generations, and as I said, it is extremely valuable. There are many collectors who would stop at nothing to own it. Whoever stole the statuette would undoubtedly have gone to the black market and offered it to the highest bidder. Hmm, I think I saw that statuette you're talking about. Someone was selling it on the home shopping network. Well, I had no idea it was so expensive. <laughs> Murphy, you dumbass. You make jokes, but you cannot possibly know how rare and valuable the statuette is. And now that you have all the necessary information, 
We'll end this charming visit. Don't bother contacting me until you have the statuette in your possession. And if you are successful in your search, it could change my opinion of you considerably. My valet will give you a retainer of $1,000 on your way out. Goodbye, Mr. Murphy. I didn't tell the Countess, but I would have done damn near anything for $30,000. Now I've got Was to find that a, a to the you black might market. get laid? How hard can it be? You, you might get laid because, you know, why not? Black market, eh? Let's go to Rook's store. Rook is probably with the black Rook. market, right? Judas Murphy, can't you find something else to do besides bothering me? Judas Murphy? Okay. I don't know anything about that. Damn it. Fine. I thought for sure. I'm so excited. Mm, I'm gonna look and feel like a new man. Uh huh. I, I like the wieners in the background there. That's. Well, that's swell, Beak. Hope you're feeling grateful enough to answer some more questions. Yeah, sure. Give me thing. Oh. Oh, I'm like, these are my items. I haven't got any info on that. Damn it. I can't help you there. Son of what kind of informant are you? I haven't got any info on that. <sighs> Worst informant ever. Okay, that's really disturbing. I heard that the Golden Gate Hotel was once known as the I heard that Ardo shuts the place down every once in a while to do fire safety upgrades. Maybe he's painting fire extinguishers in all the rooms. <laughs> so it's closed. Okay. Gotcha. There's nobody in there. What's going on? Do you know anything about this? And by that, I mean that. Apparently, it's a real hot item. The top commodities dealer in the city is named Franco Franco. He probably either has the statuette or knows who has it. Damn, Chelsea. <laughs> they said that Louis knew everything? Chelsea's the one with the info. I don't know how you're going to find him, but if you do, be careful. Is there anything that's open? Look, it's a rundown place. Louis laments. Louis. Okay, what's on your mind? Sorry, Mife. Can't help you there. I love their expression. Sorry, Mife. Can't help you there. Who does that? Sorry, Mife. All, all right, look. Ham just opened the electronics place a while ago. He's come by for lunch a couple of times. Usually orders the brains and eggs platter. Uh, wild, wild. Ham Francesca Lucci. Ooh, 
What can I get for you, handsome? How about a big plate of linguine with my own special sauce? Ew! I think your sauce might be a little too rich for me. I just want to ask a couple of questions. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Sorry. Ask me about something else. Can't help? Sorry. He opened that radioactive shack across to the street. I haven't spoken with him yet. He was a weirdo who opened up a shop just down the street. That would have been a couple of years ago. The business went under in a hurry and the clown just disappeared. I don't know why I'm asking you about Sorry. this. Sorry. Ask me about something else. I think I talked to her about everything already. Right. <laughs> Milf Italiano sauce. Yes. This is the brand new. This is the brand. Do I have to use this every time? Whoops. I get the feeling that this guy is not gonna be like a questionable guy, maybe. How's it going? Yeah. No, I came by to get some information from you. I sell gadgets, not information. Feel free to look around, but the only questions I answer are about the merchandise. Hmm. How's it going? Oh, you bet, because there sure is a lot of neat stuff in here. Well, go ahead. I tried not to stare, but it threw... All right, so I can't talk to him. Now that's a solid door. It's probably titanium. Well, he would need to lock up pretty good, apparently, around here. Alright, what about... Hey, buddy. Still having fun with your chin? Yeah, you are. I should make that a gif and just leave it on the stream. Huh? Ask away. Oh, don't know a thing about it. Damn it! Sorry, can't help you with that. Alright. Wish I could help. Sure you do. Oh, don't know a thing about it. Sorry. Um. I keep getting confused as to where I am. All right, here we go. Oh, frick. Maybe we need to go talk to the cop again. My trusty 31. Hey, Murphy, guess what? We got the guy who robbed those pawn shops. Turned himself in. Can you believe it? <laughs> Get babbling some about a clown coming back from the dead to haunt him. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh... Good, good, good job. Congratulations, Mac. Maybe now your hemorrhoids will calm down. You're a real joker. But not even you can ruin my day. So what do you want? He's a big time crook. Deals with stolen and illegally imported merchandise, especially Jade. Sorry, Murphy. Can't help you with that. Jeez, Tex, you think I know about everything? Kinda. Sorry, Murphy. 
He was a wacko who had a kid show on TV years ago. He quit the TV biz and opened a novelty shop somewhere in the mutant section. Word is, he got involved with the illegal novelty trade and got himself killed. He disappeared months ago. Got himself killed. Meek's a real valuable contact on the street, but he doesn't come cheap. I've been okay. A little indigestion now and again, but nothing serious. <laughs> Some of the cops here at the station joined the crusade. None of them work here anymore. I don't take much stock in religious movements, but it sure turned those guys into fanatics. Huh. Alright. So now we have another clue. The Jade. Um, can we go back to... Well, that's not yeah, yeah, look, it's fine. Rook Garner. Rook. Oh, uh, yeah, much older. The one I played last time came what out else can I last you year. With Murphy? Uh, this one came out in 94. So. You know, I subscribe to a trade paper called Jewelry Weekly. In the last issue, it seems to me I saw an advertisement by someone named Franco, who was looking to buy Jade. There wasn't anything of interest in the trade paper, so I threw it out. It's probably still in the trash can out there. <gasps> the one that I can open? The one that says paper? So yeah, technically that's the... It's Tex Murphy number... Six or five, and this is the third one. Like I said, there there is actually two more before this, but there, <laughs> I don't want to play them. They're just too old. Twenty-two. This must be the trade paper Rook mentioned. What? There we go. Alhambra Theater. What? You are so creepy. <laughs> like, like, who decided? Hey, let's just have him sit there and do this all day. Oh! Yeah, this game is old enough to drink. You're right. I always forget I don't actually have to go to the car to actually travel. Being a movie buff, I've heard of the Alhambra Theater. Though I heard it was closed down years ago. Sure enough, it's boarded up but one of the back doors is unlocked. As soon as I step inside, two lugs the size of refrigerators grab me. <laughs> I tell them that I have something for Mr. Franco and one of them walks off. He comes back a minute later and escorts me into the main theater. A Buster Keaton flick is playing. The place is empty except for a man sitting by himself near the front of the theater. And it's Franco. Welcome, Mr. Murphy. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, this one is, is just old. I believe the first one came out in 88 or 89. But holy frick, that one's like, I don't... I can't even function in that one. The one that's after that, number two, came out in 91. But there's not really any voice acting. And I was just like, eh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna... <laughs> I have not saved in a while. Thank you, Moth. <laughs> You're just being super helpful. Hey, how do you know my name? I have my ways. 
I've been told you're a private eye. Is this the black As guy from I'm the new I'm sure one? you know, I'm strictly a legitimate businessman. Uh-huh. I'm sure you are. Uh, bad puns. We yeah. like those. You may be legit, but I understand you're pretty jaded. <laughs> oh, yes, that I am. Speaking of which, did you bring the item? Ah, a lovely specimen. It will make a fine addition to my collection. Now, I will answer one question to the best of my knowledge. One question? Um... There's a statuette in the shape of a bird that recently came onto the market. You know who has it? Hmm, I know the statuette you're referring to. There were several bidders for it. But I believe it ended up in the hands of Eddie Ching. I can say no more about it. There, now I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. Don't contact me again. Unless, of course, you find another fine piece of jade. You know the way out. I feel like I'm being ripped off. A piece of information. For... Jade? I feel like it should be worth more. Just saying.